There are some animals on Earth that seem to defy nature. Adapted to master their environments, these animals are capable of doing things that seem impossible. Join us for today's video as we take a look at 15 animals that defy nature. Number 15. Mountain Goats If you've ever been on the internet, then you're probably familiar with the first animal on our list. Mountain goats defy not just nature, but it would seem like the laws of physics themselves. These furry little friends can scale some of the tallest and steepest mountains that humans would fear to tread, and they do it very well. There's nothing clunky about the mountain goats moving up a cliff face. So how are they able to do these things that so few animals can? Well, they're built for it. Their hooves have a hard outer case that lets them dig right into the ledges that you and I wouldn't be able to find. But the soft pads on the bottom of these tough hooves mold to the contours of the rock surface, just like a rock climbing shoe. The mountain goats look pretty buff, but in reality, they're slender little fellows, which is the perfect shape for balancing in precarious positions. But within these slender bodies are strong shoulders that give them just the right boost to hoist themselves up. Because while it may look easy for them, they're still working plenty hard. Centuries of adaptation have helped these mountain goats learn to scale these cliffs probably better than Spider-Man could. Number 14. Giant Pandas Everybody loves the adorable black and white giant panda. While you may not want to trifle with it in its natural habitat, they're amazing creatures to view from afar, and we can watch them sitting and eating bamboo for hours. But what most people don't know is that these bears are naturally carnivorous. Everything about them right down to their digestive system dictates that they should eat meat. But despite this, they go against their own nature by subsisting on a herbivore diet. And because they're living off bamboo, they're not really getting the nutrients that they need. They don't derive enough energy or protein from eating bamboo, but still they eat the green stuff for about 14 hours a day, every day, and digest about 17% of what they consume. And getting down to the nitty gritty, the giant panda defecates up to 40 times a day. Giant pandas are probably famous for lazying about all day, but that's because they're getting such little nutrients from their diet so they keep social interactions and physical exertion to a minimum. So next time you see a giant panda at the zoo, remember that they're not lazy, they just haven't had a proper meal. Number 13. Platypus The platypus is easily one of the most recognizable animals on Earth. But while the platypus has some primitive looking features and adaptations like a flat bill and webbed feet, it's easy to confuse them with a giant duck. But these amphibious animals aren't birds, they're mammals. Platypus typically feed on things like frogs, fish, and insects that hang about in the water and take shelter during the day in their burrows along the banks. They're very shy animals, and they've got a flat body with limbs made perfect for swimming and digging. But their senses of sight, smell, and hearing hardly exist at all. But then how is the platypus able to thrive? It's got a system of receptors that allow it to perfectly navigate itself underwater. Most mammals aren't equipped with these types of receptors, and to add to their unique traits, the platypus is one of just two mammals that lay eggs. The eggs have a gestation period of about 10 days, and once they're born, the mothers nurse the young in a typical mammal fashion. But once that baby hits 14 weeks old, it moves out on its own to see the rest of the world, or in this case, the lake. Number 12. Mantis Shrimp Plenty of land animals love to fight, but go beneath the ocean's surface and you'll find a different type of fight club. Despite its name, the mantis shrimp is a close relative of crabs and lobsters, but certainly comes with more fantastic colors. But don't let the gorgeous colors fool you, because if you get too close, this mantis shrimp will deck you, pow, right in the kisser. We're not joking, because the mantis shrimp holds the all-time record for the fastest punch in the animal kingdom. It uses its club-like appendage to kill its prey with a blow that delivers as much force as a shot from a rifle. Their appendage accelerates at 10,000 times the rate of gravity and reaches a max speed of 50 miles an hour. It's like getting hit by a car. The mantis shrimp's club moves at that speed in just a fraction of a second, so if you blink, it's too late for you. But to make things even wilder, the pressure generated by the strike is so great that it produces a flash of light so bright and so hot that the water in front of the mantis shrimp will boil. It's punching, killing, and cooking its victims in one fell swoop. Number 11. Narwhal How old were you when you found out unicorns weren't real? And how much did it break your little heart? Well, cry no more, because the narwhal is truly the unicorn of the sea, and there's nothing else like it on Earth. 
The unicorn horn of the narwhal is actually a tusk, not a horn, and it's most commonly found in males. This enlarged protruding tooth has a pretty amazing sensory capability, with about 10 million nerve endings inside, making it more like an antenna than a horn, and the spiral horn can grow up to 10 feet long. And while the long tusk is an amazing sensory organ, it can also be used to stun small prey, making it easier for the narwhal to catch and feed on them. But it also serves one more important purpose, a secondary sex organ. The bigger the tusk, the higher up on the hierarchy of the narwhal the male is, and therefore he's more likely to get a mate. Think of it as the mane of a lion or the feathers of a peacock. Number 10. Hummingbirds Hummingbirds are incredibly popular and very common. Everyone has seen them, which means that everyone has heard their signature sound. But if you take a moment to stop and think about the hummingbird, they defy nature every time they take flight. Aside from the high speed at which they move their wings, it's when the males are attempting to impress a mate that things really get wild. During courtship, a male hummingbird may try to impress the ladies by diving through the air at speeds of about 50 miles an hour. And while the owner of a fast and fancy car may not be impressed, you've got to remember that hummingbirds just grow to be about 5 inches long. Now that is impressive. So if you were to scale the hummingbird to the size of, say, a Ford Fiesta, which is about 13 feet long, that bird is now going to travel at 1,300 miles an hour. The speed of sound is only about 767 miles an hour. Not into cars? Then think of it this way. At max speed, a typical fighter jet can travel about 150 body lengths per second. But during these dives, the hummingbird is going to travel 383 body lengths per second. It's insane. Number 9. Bar-headed geese Geese? Uh, they're not impressive, right? Well, you obviously haven't met the bar-headed geese. What makes these type of geese so amazing are the great heights they're able to reach. They typically live high above the Himalayan mountains, where the air is way too thin for humans to truly exist. But it's the same thin air that allows the bar-headed geese to thrive. There's so much less resistance up there, and the extreme colds at those altitudes also prevent them from overheating. But these geese are able to fly higher than a jumbo jet. But to lay their eggs, they've got to come all the way back down to Earth before going back up to heights of almost 30,000 feet. But at those great heights, there's about 10% less oxygen up there than down here at sea level. These geese are able to reach these heights by flying in what's called a roller coaster formation and take full advantage of the wind off mountains and ridges. But despite the bar headed geese using shifts and the winds to their fullest, they're still not using tailwinds and they don't soar, meaning they never stop flapping their wings. Number 8. Sperm Whale If you ever managed to dive down into the ocean at a depth of about 2,000 feet, pressure is around 20 times the normal atmospheric condition. But unless you're an absolute professional or an especially pressurized apparatus, good luck surviving down there. The sperm whale, though, can dive down to depths of about 2 miles below the surface without any issues. But what makes the sperm whale such a nature-defying animal is that it's an air breather, meaning it has lungs. But their lungs can reach those depths without being crushed? But how is that even possible? The answer is the sperm whale's rib cage. They're highly flexible, so when their lungs collapse, their ribs will flatten with them. They store their oxygen in their blood so they can swim two miles deep for up to 90 minutes without needing to breach the surface for air. As far as we know, sperm whales are some of the deepest ocean divers on record. Number 7. Arctic Cod Most typical fish can come off as boring. They're not bright by any stretch of the imagination. They make boring pets and are probably better off as our dinner. But some of these boring fish can have some pretty one-of-a-kind adaptations. Enter the Arctic Cod. As their namesake would imply, the Arctic Cod live in some pretty freezing conditions that would prove to be inhospitable for a large portion of the animal kingdom. The Arctic Cod are not just able to withstand but also thrive in these sub-zero temperatures because they're able to create their own antifreeze. They're able to create these proteins that bind to the tiny ice crystals in their blood to prevent the blood from freezing and eventually and obviously killing them. This is a type of animal adaptation that can only come from thousands and thousands of years of evolution. The Arctic Cod had developed a gene that allows them to create the proteins, which they can turn on and off like we would the thermostat in our home. The Arctic Cod gives a whole new meaning to having a heart of ice. Number 6. Maned Wolf Wolves are cool animals. They hunt in packs, can smell your blood, and save the heart of the kill for the alpha. But this wolfish entry on our list is different in every way, and despite its namesake, it's not even a wolf at all. 
The maned wolf doesn't howl, it doesn't travel in packs, and it hunts all on its own. It's got a small and long head with a pointed snout, big ears, and some pretty thick red fur. The maned wolf is the largest canid animal in South America, and has scientists all around the world completely baffled. They simply don't know what it is. Its long and gangly legs are actually an evolutionary adaptation for their high grassland environment to get the best possible view of their prey below. We're talking rodents, lizards, eggs, and even roots and fruits. Despite the maned wolf's name, they're a little less exciting, but their mystique still makes them pretty darn cool in their own right. And the maned wolf can run pretty fast too, only it never really resorts to doing so. It'd be a quick gait at best. It's a strange beast to be sure, with its wolfish and fox-like features, is able to defy the laws of nature. Number 5. Geckos We've all seen the commercials, but other than having an Australian accent, most people don't know too much about these loud and scaly reptiles. Depending on where in the world you live, it's not uncommon to see them hiding under shrubs or even sticking to the walls in your home. But they're also pretty darn nimble, like parkour-level nimble. And when they're running away from their bigger, sometimes faster predators, they need a good escape plan. So geckos use something called rapid inversion. If the gecko in question is running on a ledge and sees the edge getting closer and closer, instead of going for the life-saving jump, they're going to simply hold on and flip to the bottom for a classic game of hide-and-seek. When the predator looks all the way down, it'll be safe enough for them to assume that their reptilian prey fell to their death. But little do they know that the gecko is right underneath them holding its breath, hoping they're not spotted. But even then, no other animal is going to be able to pull off the balancing act like the now inverted gecko. Number 4. Oriental Hornet Let's face the facts. We need a new form of renewable energy and fast. Plenty of people out there are advocating for solar power to run the world, and who knows, maybe even one day we'll all have solar panels on our homes. Wouldn't it be nice? But there's one animal out there that's already beaten us to the punch. We're talking about the Oriental Hornet. Long before we ever dreamed of harnessing the power of the sun, the Oriental Hornet has been harnessing its energy for thousands of years. That's because it's essentially got solar panels for skin. Yep, these little hornets have yellow and brown spots on their skin, with the brown portion being filled with melanin, a pigment also found in human skin. The hornet will absorb the UV rays into these melanin-rich spots and then turn them into electricity. But that doesn't mean that they're going around zapping everyone and everything in sight. Really, what the hornets are doing with all this pent-up energy is converting it back into stored heat for when the weather cools down throughout the day, and even using it for an extra jolt of energy to power up their wings, when your average bee would grow tired. Who knows, the Oriental Hornet might just turn up in the next movie about a certain god of thunder. Number 3. Spiders When you were a kid, did you ever rub your fingers through the carpet as fast as you could and then touch your sibling, giving them a nice zap of static electricity? Well, maybe you're probably closer to being a Marvel superhero than you think. If you're ever able to get really, really up close and personal with a spider, you'll notice these hundreds of tiny hairs on their legs. That's how they're able to stick to walls. Well, sort of. But these aren't little bits of Velcro that they're working with. The truth is these little hairs are using static electricity to stick to everything. The electrons between the hairs move around in close quarters until the negative and positive charges finally meet. It's a classic case of opposites attract. But the bonds here allow them to hang on to anything. The electricity doesn't stop there, because spiders can even spin a little bit of shock into their webs to help attract and catch their prey. Pretty sinister stuff. Number 2. Elephants Elephants may be majestic, but they're also super big and super loud. This is why it may come as a surprise to learn that despite their loud voices, they defy nature by using inaudible sounds to communicate with each other from miles away. Well, inaudible to us humans at least. The elephants are able to manipulate their vocal cords in such a way that they can emit an infrasonic murmur at a pitch much lower than anything we're capable of picking up on. But their elephant friends, on the other hand, can hear that sound from up to 20 miles away. And it's not their giant floppy ears that let them hear these secret messages either. These murmurs are more like rumbles that are able to shake the earth beneath their feet. Since elephants have some of the most sensitive feet on the planet, their gray giant friends can pick up on them. The sound travels up their feet through the body and into the brain, sending shivers down our spines. Number 1. Dogs We know what you're thinking. Dogs? How does man's best friend defy nature? It's pretty crazy, actually. Ever take Fido out and wonder why he always picks the most specific and weirdest places to relieve himself? 
That's because dogs are in tune with the Earth's magnetic field and always poop along the north-south axis. Yep, it sounds insane, but plenty of careful studies have been conducted to prove it. Dogs have a built-in sensor that allows them to pick up on the magnetic field. And if they're in an environment that disrupts that, notice how their poops may go a little haywire. This magnetic instinct goes back to their more wolf-like days, and dictates their herding behavior and targeting system when hunting prey. But since dogs don't do that anymore, it's all been boiled down to going number two. So the next time you see your dog walking in a circle like a madman before dropping a turd, remember that they're just trying to triangulate the Earth's magnetic field. Watch our Animals playlist for more top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.